Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, I have discussed about what is tree bank, and in this video, I am going to discuss about representation of syntactic structure. So, before starting this lecture, I would like to tell you that uh, if you are watching this video for the first time, then please do subscribe to our channel. And if you are already a subscriber, please do watch the whole video and hit the like button. So, let's get started. So, representation of syntactic structure. So this representation of syntactic structure can be done by using tree bank only. But in order to construct a particular tree bank, we will be following two different approaches. So the first one is phrase structure graph and the second is dependency graph. So in this video, I am going to discuss only about the phrase structure graph. In the next video, I am going to discuss about what is dependency graph. OK, so what is phrase structure graph? Phrase structure graph is also known as constituency graph. So you can refer this particular graph name also as constituency graph. OK, who introduced this particular graph concept is Noam Chomsky. OK, in phrase structure graph, each node in the constituent tree represents a phrase and the edges represents the hierarchical relationships between these phrases. See, when I'm explaining about the concept of tree bank, I already said that when, while you were constructing a particular tree that nodes represent a word right and the edges represent the uh, relationship between those nodes right but but in this particular phrase structure graph here no represents a phrase not a word so there is a difference between a word and a phrase right so a word is nothing but a single unit in a sentence but when it comes to phrase a phrase is nothing but a combination of words but you can't take a single word here you have to take combination of words so those words represent a node here and what is the edges in this particular phrase structure graph is the relationship between these phrases. So those are nothing but the edges. OK, so there are different kinds of phrases in, in a particular sentence. Whenever a particular sentence is given, there are different phrases. So what are the, those phrases? So the first one is noun phrase and the second is verb phrase and the third is prepositional phrase. There are um, there are so many phrases, but I have listed only three because we will be mostly discussing about these phrases only. OK, so you will get to know about this clearly about this uh, phrases clear clearly when you when I will discuss uh, discuss a particular example. OK, so I've already said that this node represents a phrase and the edges represent the relationships between the phrases. So I think you got the clear understanding of phrase structure graph. Now I will be uh, explaining you the example so you can get more clear understanding about what the phrase structure graph is and how you are going to construct a particular phrase structure graph. OK, so this is the example sentence. So I have, I have took the example of this particular sentence. What is the sentence? The cat chases the mouse. So this is the sentence I have taken as an example. So what are the notes here? I said that in I said when I so I said here so here a node represents a phrase but not a word so what i did is i took this as one phrase i mean this comes under noun phrase and this comes under verb phrase and this comes under noun phrase again okay so these are considered as nodes here so how you are going to con uh, i mean construct a particular phrase structure graph is so here you have to follow three rules first so first one is you have to aware about the rules so what are the rules i have given here those rules are first one c whatever the example sentence they have given. So first you have to divide that particular sentence into NP and VP. So NP is nothing but the noun phrase and the VP is nothing but verb phrase. OK, so if you have a chance to divide this particular noun phrase, then you can divide this noun phrase into determinant and noun. So you can not further divide this determinant and noun again. It remains the same. And then if you want to divide this particular VP, then you can divide this particular verb phrase into verb and noun phrase. And again, there is noun phrase here. So you can divide this particular noun phrase into determinant and noun. So I hope you got clear understanding about these rules. OK, then you have to tag the sentence with the phrases. So this is it. This is the sentence, right? So I have tagged it with parts of speech here. So first you tag it with phrases. See the cat is the noun phrase here and chased is the verb phrase and then the mouse is the noun phrase. Then you have to divide this particular noun phrase into determinant and noun and the and you have to divide this verb phrase into verb and noun phrase. 
so this noun phrase can be further divided into determinant and noun so if i tell you like this you won't get the clear understanding so let me tell you in a graphical representation okay i mean hierarchical representation so the third step is you have to represent in a hierarchical manner so while representing that particular graph it may be from top to bottom or bottom to top so if uh, if they ask uh, uh, about this topic in your exam so you can construct both top to bottom and bottom to top okay so let's discuss about this top to bottom approach here so this is the top to bottom representation of phrase structure graph so whenever you are constructing a particular graph so you have to remember this rules so by using these rules only we are going to construct this particular graph okay so uh, i said that uh, whenever you take the uh, sentence that sentence should be divided into np and vp right so you can see here that particular sentence is divided into noun phrase and verb phrase okay so you can divide this noun phrase further right so you can divide it into determinant and noun as mentioned in the rules i am dividing it okay so this noun phrase is divided into determinant and then noun so verb phrase can also be divided right so that can be divided into verb and then noun phrase okay so again this noun phrase is further divided into determinant and noun okay so so you can see uh, let me copy this so you can get the clear understanding sorry so let me let me decrease the size so it can fit here see you have see wait 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 see you have uh, tagged this particular sentence with parts of speech right so whenever you are going from top to bottom approach the bottom should be the sentence only the sen i mean the sentence should be same as given in the example no words can be interchanged okay see what is the determinant here the right i mean the the should be written here and what is the noun that is nothing but cat so i have written here so verb verb is nothing but chase and determinant is nothing but the and noun is nothing but mouse okay so whenever you are representing a particular graph you have to specify whether that particular graph is top to bottom or bottom to top how you gonna specify that so by using this symbol only by using this arrow mark you are gonna tell that whether that particular graph is top to bottom or bottom to top so we have discussed about this uh, top to bottom right now let's discuss about bottom to top so bottom to top is uh, the reverse of top to bottom right so in top to bottom we are coming from starting node to the leaf nodes right so in uh, bottom to top you are going you are starting it from bottom node and you are going to the start node right so let me i mean let me paste the example here again so you can get a clear understanding see in bottom to top in bottom to top you have to start it with the example sentence i mean the sentence which i have given the cat chase the mouse right so you have to start from the bottom so what is da here da is nothing but determinant what is cat here cat is nothing but the noun and what is chased chased is nothing but verb and da is nothing but determinant and mouse is nothing but noun right so what what we get i mean what is the combination of determinant and noun so you have to check check this particular rules so if you combine determinant and noun what you will be going to achieve noun phrase so noun phrase you are you are going to tag okay so this is also the same right determinant plus noun is nothing but noun phrase so what is the combination of this verb and noun phrase so you can see here at the third rule so you will be having the combination of verb and noun phrase is nothing but the verb phrase so i have tagged it with the verb phrase so then what is the combination of the noun phrase and the verb phrase it is nothing but the start symbol or the sentence right so i have written here s so this is the bottom to top approach so in order to specify that particular uh, graph is from bottom to top i have run this particular arrow mark here that is uh, that is showing up first right so this is about the phrase structure graph so in the next video i will be discussing about the dependency graph i hope you got all the points so if you 
want to get uh, notified about uh, regular video updates so please do join our telegram channel which i have given in the de description box and also i will give it in the comment section so please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please hit the like button so i said that it will give me the boost to create more content like this so thank you